This is Dr. Lou Sella, sport and performance psychologist. And one thing I see a lot, or and I hear about a lot, is when there's no movement on a triple team. A lot of times it's because when there's a, when the guard is covered, he's posting that player. So if it's a two technique, he takes two steps up the field, puts his nose in the V of the neck of the two tech, and then slams his hands through his sternum. If he takes up too much surface area or his base expands, sometimes it's hard for the tackle to get in on the triple team. So what the tackle does is he's supposed to block the blocker with his left knee, left hand, for his northbound steps. This helps the guard remove the two tech. The center snaps the ball, gets to the hip of the guard, and then box the two tech, but if the guard takes up too much service area, the center will block the blocker with his right knee, right hand, four inch northbound steps. But what I've seen happen, and I saw this happen at camp yesterday, is the tackle just simply stands next to the guard, and the guard does all the work, and the tackle just stands next to him. He can't get in on the block, so he stands there, even though I implicitly told him to block the blocker. Like, the center and the tackle have to understand, this is a triple team. If the guard takes up too much surface area and you can't get in on the block, now you got to block the guard. And that's how you get a push and movement. But what it does as well is it keeps your center and tackle square on the triple team. So the tackle doesn't get his tail in the hole. So be mindful when you watch your kids triple team, that they are getting involved in the block and they are not just blocking air. If the tackle can't get in on the block, he's going to use his left knee and left hand to block the blocker. Center would have to use his right knee and right hand to block the blocker, so they'll get behind him and block the blocker. This is how you're going to get movement. They don't just stand next to him and go, well, I can't get in on the block, so I'll just fit next to him and everything will be okay. No, it's not going to be okay. Got to get movement. You got to knock the son of a gun backwards because if you keep doing that and the B-back runs behind your triple team, you're going to keep getting four yards. Your coach will never have to call a play again, and you're going to win, 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 win. So make sure that happens. Also with the play side A-back, he's never going to block air. He wedges with the tackle. That's the first thing he does. Then, after he wedges with the tackle, he two-hand slam whoever shows. Then, if nobody shows, he'll go second level. He's not going to block air. Believe me, if number one's the quarterback player, the mic's taking the dive. He's not going to block air. Make sure your kids aren't blocking air. Because high school kids tend to do that. Get on their wrecked them about that. Coaches, if you want to win big in 2024, pick up the phone and give me a call. My number's on the thumbnail of this video. So is my website. The Triple Option Football Academy and Triple Option Football Academy camps are going to show you how. Go to tripleoptionfootball.com slash testimonials. You can see all the success stories that have come from the camps and the academy. I got day two of camp today in New Jersey. We'll see what happens. Mid-triple and trap go in. See you later.